what is going on y'all it's your boy 3 we're back with another video and i have here of course nba live 18 footage but i also have some 2k 18 gameplay gameplay that was leaked also coming from the um special guest uh special guest commentary trailer that released earlier today i took some of the gameplay from there as well because clearly that's in-game gameplay being recorded so we have a glimpse of what to expect when we play up against people. We see the fluid motions, we see the animations, we see the dribble move sets, we see the shot selections, we see how it all works, the new shot meter, all that shit. But we have to compare the two now that there's gameplay. Now I'm not gonna speak on personal experience, but I will speak on the behalf of my experience with live. But as far as 2K goes, I'm just doing a comparison versus the movement in NBA Live versus the movement in 2k18 i haven't played live 18 in a couple of days since i've been really trying to grind out on some other games but when i get back into live i'm not gonna lie to you i really fuck with the motion of the game i really do although it does feel a bit stiff in some in some angles and some points it does feel kind of stiff i'm playing also i think on the hardest difficulty against my opponent um so it obviously makes it seem like everybody's lit on defense and the other team does not miss any shots but aside from that uh, i'm pretty i'm still man still impressed with what live brought to the table there's still some fixes if i could pull up the gameplay in this video you will see a point where i swatted the ball and as soon as i swat the ball the ball like turned into like this beach ball effect that shit still bothers me but if you look at some of the animations you see some of the motion uh of the player movements and then compare that to 2k i'm not gonna lie to you even though people complain that 2k is the same game every year clearly you can see that there's more animation or it's better dribble move sets or a better setup display on nba 2k especially with that leaked gameplay footage from cardi um fax cardi i have his link in the description where he was playing with harden and you can clearly see that dribbling with harden it looked extremely smooth especially with Harden's signature dribble move compared to when you see yourself dribbling uh, with a player on live 18. And I'm not going to lie to you. I think Live done a phenomenal job at really trying to improve in a lot of areas. But there's still a bunch of work to be done. But look at this gameplay. It doesn't look bad and it doesn't play bad. It really just comes down to just shot selections. And actually, some of the shots I've taken in the game, it, don't, it ain't bad. Some of the shot selections, of course, I'm shooting crazy with Curry. But that's because of the fact that it's the purpose of the video. Now, when you see me practice with Kyrie... I'm like, yo, listen, Kyrie's movement's a bit stiff. He doesn't even have that many dribble move sets. But when you take the shot with them, I think the overall shot selection has been improved tremendously on live. It's really coming down to fluid movements. And that's where I feel like it gets a little stiff. I know people are going to say it's all about the simulation and all that and the feel. But honestly speaking, there's a lack of animation in, 2K, in NBA Live. Excuse me, in NBA Live. Therefore, when it feels stiff... It doesn't feel stiff because it's simulation. It feels stiff because there's not enough options for animations to move along with your dribble. And in terms of 2K, you obviously see from the official gameplay, the league gameplay, there's a little bit more animation driven and it's actually more fluid in my opinion. Now it's up for debate. I think both games are gonna be pretty damn good. I think of course 2K will be dominant in most areas or perhaps the majority of its areas. But I am proud of what Live had to bring to the table. But really, if you look at the side by side, which do you feel has the better or f just from looking, you know, we can't just judge and say 2K is better, period. But just from looking at 2K18 and then Live18, which one do you feel looks like it has more fluid motion on animations? Because in my opinion, I feel like it's 2K, man. I can't sit here and lie. It looks like it's 2K. Now, when I get my hands on it, of course, I'm going to be able to play it in different speeds of the game and really test out different animation moves and really give you guys my groundbreaking opinion, my honest, honest overview opinion on the animations. But we can't sit here and act like this shit ain't fucking out there in our face, bro. That literally 2K's animations look like they're much more smooth and clean, especially with shot selections versus nba live where it just, it's like just a little they need to work a little bit on animation moves man and just keeping it smooth now that's where the arcadiness comes in you may try to say that it's a little arcadey with 2k but nah the game still feels more smooth and fluid that's just my opinion please let me know what you guys think in the comments below i honestly think 2k has the upper hand 
with fluid animations and dribble moves versus NBA Live. That's just me. Drop your comments below. This ain't even trying to be biased. Of course, I gave you know my respects for Live, playing Live, of course. And I gave my respects for 2K, being that I'm an experienced 2K player. And just feeling 2K17, I'm already assuming that you know they wouldn't go backtracking on the animations, but try to at least improve in some areas where I felt like they were lacking as well. But yeah, drop your thoughts in the comments below. It's your boy 3MG. I'm out of here, man. Peace. Oh yeah, I told ya, I told ya The weather's cold, we're getting older Things even change when it gets colder But we'll move on just like a moment Maybe it's the sun and sky, it's on the sun Those were the days